Hi everybody, it's Eric Jakey with Alex Jakey Racing. Uh, today we are talking about cleaning uh, the Vortex Mini Rock Micro Rock uh, carburetor. Uh, I'm going to assume you've already pulled the throttle cable. Pull it over here. Set this guy down. Put the camera down here. So, one of the first things we learned when doing cadet carts, and there's no manual for this, of course, they just, you know, you buy a cart and you go racing and the next thing you know, you're trying to figure out what the heck to do. Uh, one of the most critical things we learned was you need to clean this carburetor. We clean it several times a day. Um, definitely before qualifying and definitely before uh, the finals. I don't necessarily do it before practices, but the important events we do. So I'm going to uh, I've already loosened the screws just to make this go faster, but we're going to take off the float bowl here. Okay, I'm going to set that. Oh, you know, before we even do that, important. Metal dish from Harbor Freight, 7 8 bucks. Take some brake cleaner. Give it a good blast. You want to clean that thing out good. Make sure there's no sand, dirt, pest particles of anything in there. Because you put your jets and whatnot in here you don't want those picking up anything otherwise that defeats the whole purpose of your carb clean so we're taking the float bowl off and set that aside first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take off the main jet here try to get my hands out of the way very important to note before you take it off this lip on this little what i call the hat is pointing down um, if you get that backwards the cart will not start. And that usually happens when you go to qualifying or the pre-main or something like that. It's an awful experience to have your kids sitting there and you can't do anything about it. So, just pull a jet out, goes back in. It's always good to, you know, just remember the way it goes, the lip is down, jet's on that side, set those in the dish for now. Uh, the next thing I do, is I take an eight millimeter driver here and I pull out this here where the main jet went. All these little holes, any one of those can clog up with dirt, sand, grime, whatever, and affect performance of the car. So we take those out, give that a good clean. Uh, then we'll take off the idle jet here. Same thing. Super tiny little holes there, and of course the main hole in here you can't really see, but set that aside. Then we take off the pilot jet here. It's really tiny. Um, one thing that's important to know is you really should have spares of all of these. Nothing worse than being out in an open pit, dropping something that bounces off into the grass, you never see it again. Take the gasket out, we replace these quite often. Uh, next thing is you can take the floats off as well there's a little pin in here got to kind of give a pull to sometimes it just pops right out sometimes it takes a pair of needle nose pliers let me grab some real quick that pin unlike the Rotax Micromax where you can make sure it stays in there you can screw it in this is just floating, and there is nothing worse than losing that either, I assure you. So, um, set that aside, floats come out. If you notice in the float, there's a little lip here, okay? This guy, that I'm just pulling out, sits in there when we put it back together. Kind of sits like that, when you put it all in. This little rubber tip, you don't want to get brake cleaner or carb cleaner on. Uh, that can dry out and cause issues as well. All these pieces go in the dish. Now, you've got yourself a fairly empty carb. And I will literally just take some brake cleaner, spray it out. I'm not going to do it here. This is already a fairly clean carb. I usually give any holes on the carburetor a good blast. In there, up there, and the fuel intake there on the front you get that good and cleaned out it's really 
I can't tell you how important that is. Um, when we're ready to put it back together, I just kind of go in reverse order. I put that pilot jet back in first. Doesn't matter what order it goes in, as long as they go in the right hole, and they can only go in one hole. Um, it's important when you clean these jets to put your fingers over those holes, blast it th straight through. It's always a good idea to blow through it too, just blow right into it. If you hold it up to the sky, you should be able to see a clear blue sky through the hole. Then, after you've done that, then you can give it another blast and it'll clear out these holes as well. Same thing with the big one. You want to not just get the main hole here clean, you want to get all these holes clean as well. Okay? Um, all right, so we already put the pilot jet back in. I'm gonna put the idle jet back in here. Okay. You don't have to over tighten these, just a little snug. Um, we'll put this guy in. Okay. Um, we do want to put the floats on. So, you just kind of set it in there like that. Take your pin, push the pin through. Gonna line it up. Like I said, it, it's you know you're just there's nothing to really seat it in there permanently. It can slide out, so be careful you don't walk around with the carb hanging down because that pin can slide out and end your day really quick. We give our main jet a good spray out. Same thing, blow through it. Make sure it's good and clear. Put it back in so that the hat faces down. Right back in. Okay. Make sure you replace your gasket. Put your float bowl back on. Screw down those guys. Reinstall on your carb on your uh, engine, and uh, and you've got yourself a clean carb. Um, like I said, I can't. I can't emphasize enough that you should be cleaning this um, at least once or twice a day on, on race days. It's uh, especially here in central Florida, and we get so much sand pick up. Um, one of those little grains of sand can really affect your performance. So anyway, that's uh, today's uh, lesson on how to clean a cadet uh, class uh, mini, uh, mini rock carburetor. Thanks very much. Uh, like and subscribe for future uh, how-tos. Thanks.